Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa if you are new here. One of my favorite Catholic apologetics things to argue or talk about with or defend against Protestants is the Catholic teaching or the Bible teaching of Mary being the mother of God. This idea that Mary is the mother of God does not sit well with Protestants. They think by referring to Mary in this way, Catholics are exalting her in a point that she shouldn't be at. Surprisingly to them, in referring to Mary this way, we're actually exalting Christ and further teaching who he is, what he is, and how amazing he is. So in this video of Catholic Snacks, we'll be learning how to defend the teaching of Mary being the mother of God. So first things first, let me explain what Catholic Snacks is. Well, Catholic Snacks is a series on this channel where we look at conversations that Protestants and Catholics may have or may disagree on, and I teach you how to respond to Protestants in ways that are more conversational, more bite-sized, so it will lead to a more fruitful conversation. So without further ado, let us answer the question, why do we call Mary the mother of God? Well, we call Mary the mother of God because, well, she is the mother of God. Mary is often referred to as Theotokos, which is a Greek word for mother of God. So if you ever hear that fancy word, Theotokos, just know it means mother of God. There are a few ways to justify this belief that Mary is the mother of God, but let us take the easiest and most logical route on how we know that she is. So who is Mary? Well, Mary is the mother of Christ Jesus. Who is Christ Jesus? Jesus is God. Mary being the mother of Jesus, Jesus who is God, is the son of Mary. Mary is the mother of Jesus, who is God. Therefore, Mary is the mother of God. I took a longer route to get to this claim, but I want to make sure that we fully understand what I'm saying here. Logically speaking, Mary is the mother of God because Mary is the mother of Christ, who is God. Now that we see the logical argument, let us look to scripture where we learn that Mary is the mother of God. In Luke, when Mary visits Elizabeth, Elizabeth greets her in a certain way. Well, how does she greet her? She says, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth refers to Mary as the mother of her Lord. The Lord being God, who is Christ, and Mary being the mother of Christ, who is God, who is also called Lord. Not only do we see Elizabeth call Mary the mother of her Lord, but we see this further explained in Matthew 1 verse 23 when they refer to what the prophet said. We read, All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. They shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. We learn that Christ will be called Emmanuel. And what does Emmanuel mean? God with us. So we know and believe as Christians that Jesus is God, and we see this further explained in this verse. To deny Mary the title of Mother of God, we fall into some trouble. Well, the problem Protestants have with this title is that they believe that Mary isn't the Mother of God. They will often say Mary is the Mother of Christ, not God. But when they say this, they fall guilty of the heresy taught by Nestorius which taught that the man Jesus was not God. By separating Christ from being God, this becomes a heresy. By teaching that Mary is the mother of God, we are affirming the truth that Jesus is God. We don't want to fall guilty of heresy now, do we? I hope you enjoyed this episode in Catholic Snacks. It was a quick one, but nonetheless a very, very important one. Many Protestants do not recognize what they fall guilty of when they reject this Catholic teaching. I encourage you to have this discussion with your Protestant friends to lead them away from heresy and back to the truth. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you like me and you want to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on that bell notification so you're notified when I post. And I look forward to seeing you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye.